Hi to Chaco. Do we have an Angel of War? Yes, of course, an Angel of War over there. We have, uh, what do we have here? Barracks and the second Burgo. It goes for a slow tag, makes a lot of sense if you don't know what hero you're getting. And there's a Wisp Scout. Let's see what he sees. He sees Sheik's base, he sees the barracks. And he sees more, maybe, texture problem of the, the onion texture. A player's forces are under okay. attack. I mean, it's... Okay. Okay. We have an archer and an angel of war. He eats a tree. And what about Dreadlord first for happy? Of course, perfect when you're playing Night Elf. Vampiric Aura with the bears are so strong. Shadow Hunter here. Did we not see the Shadow Hunter against the Dreadlord earlier already today as well? I think we've seen this matchup already. Shadow Hunter is going to creep, and the Dreadlord is creeping over here. Uh -oh. Uh. Great, so the Dreadlord is uh, almost level 2. Mulliach, of course, against the uh, Orc. Are you even going to uh, bears? Against the Orc, you don't really want bears, especially not against the Shadow Hunter. Uh, you mean, Shadow Hunter is a hero you normally get against bears. So instead, you just want to say, Affet, Vampiric Aura is going to be wasted. I mean, his heroes, it might still be good on his heroes, by the way. If he gets some more melee heroes, the Vampiric Aura might still be very, very, very good. So, uh, how good is Sheik? He's, he's pretty good. Normally the elf would go Talons, right? Yeah. Is he going Talons this game with a Dreadlord? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see what Happy does. My dad can't eat tomatoes because he thinks they are so soggy and slimy. A town is Does Ancient War gain from Vamp Aura? No. No. Oh, he's harassing here. 700 harassing with a mantle of intelligence. Nice item, of course, for Zulkis. By the way, here we have Muljok. Muljok. And there's a nice silence. Silence on the Dreadlord. Shadow Hunter is hunting down the, the Dreadlord. He's level 2. He didn't pick for Peric Aura, by the way. So he did go with uh, the other skill. What's the skill called? Carrion Swarm and Sleep. Maybe he hasn't picked the skill yet. So that, But he has a Hunter's Hole. Is he just going Mass Dryads or what? I think even if you're not... I mean... Vampiric Aura is just better, right? Even if you're just using it for your heroes. This Archer, she's hides, she hides in the darkness. In the shadows. What is this? Hunters. Hunters is a little frog now. The Wisp... Oh, went down. This Wisp is... Oh no! He put a full help on Wisp back into the Entangled Goldmine. What a Miss Michael Deborah Happy. I never thought I would ever say that in my life. But yeah, that was a Miss Michael Deborah Happy. He kills the Wisp. He has now level 2. Level 2 Zokis. Well, let's go. He's going to pick at level 2. I assume Healing Wave. Oh, he's silence. Uh, sleeping. Not silence. He's sleeping. Happy, happy getting undead seems fair. You got an undead hero. Haven't played in years. Thanks. Classic game though. Love to spectate it. Me too. Glad to have you here. And happy not to use the night of is the only reason. Yeah, I know, I know. I was just uh, trolling a little bit. Dreadlord has a circlet and a clause of attack. So, um... You know, if he took the Vampiric Aura, it, was, it would be so nice for the Dreadlord himself. He would be healing so much. But of course, a healing fountain, so maybe you don't need to heal. The Carrion Swarm might do something later. You know, what if the Orc goes uh, Wyvern? Then you're you're sad that you... Be, no, I, I, I don't know, actually. The, the Archer goes down. Does he surround the Shadow Hunter? Yes, of course. Easy peasy surround. The Shadow Hunter doesn't have TP, of course, because he's Orc. He's a holy healing wave thing. Uh, and there's the Carrion Swarm, he goes down. Do we have uh, no more mana here on Muliok? Is it like a heart, like a G, Muliok? Or is it more like... Maybe... Muliok? Is that it? Like a CH sound? Muliok? 
Oh, Farsher second, by the way, for Sheik. He can just get the Orc Heroes with the Orc. What is this? This is just standard heroes. Farseer, Shadow Hunter. Yeah, I'm playing Orc. Yeah, this uh, Grunt is being uh, blocked. Do we get second hero here for Mr. Happy? Oh, not yet. This Grunt is uh, staying some damage weapon. Uh, three hundred says. Shouldn't have used the Carrion Swarm of Seven Hunters, Tesla Bomber Grunt. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Carrion Swarm was definitely not uh, useful there, of course. The Seven Hunter was always going to die, I had nothing to save him. Unless the Shadow Hunter had more mana. Maybe he was in a hurry some, for some reason to kill him. Is he back yet? Shadow Hunter is level 2. He is almost back. Grunt, uh, Raider Spirit Walker, and. A grunt upgrade. Okay, you will probably get a coda later as well. Uh, here we have Beastmaster second. So if he picked Vampiric Aura, he would have two melee heroes already. And he could get bear uh, bears as well. Not bear. Only the panda gets a bear. Uh, he could get bears as, as well with Misha with the uh, with the Beastmaster. For even more Vampiric Aura, but oh well. He's playing uh, Carrion Swarm. The piggies. I mean, the picky skill is drag pretty, uh, pretty efficiently. Far seer some wolfies. He's uh, gonna keep this. Here come the hunters. What is he going for, by the way? Is he going for dryads? He's going dryads, but he's going to three if he turns to. Is he going for bears? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. If you go bears, why do you not pick for bear? I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. This uh, this Drake is going down. That's for sure. And there. Oh, Boots of Quad, alas, what a shitty item. On two strength heroes. There's a carrot Swarm, did he steal it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much XP he had. Um, not sure. Hey, Chaco, how's Lapis doing? How have you been in? And finally, how's Chico doing? Uh, Lapis. He's doing great. He's doing great. Okay, we have a fight here, but uh, Chico, Chico's doing even better. Uh, this dryad is being Michael back. He's getting the dryad. There goes the raider. Let's see the dryad. Oh, no, the spirit walker. He is dead as well. There's a arcane. Uh, no, what do you call the carrion swarm? Level two carrion swarm, I think. There's so much damage. It's like a shockwave, except it's exactly like shockwave, really. Uh, some differences, but in this situation, the same thing. Uh, there goes the raider. Try to dispel the wolfies, of course. The dryads are super good against the farce here. Uh, this dryad is slowly dying. She's dead. This this grunt is also taking a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of orc units dying here. I'm not sure if we've seen a lot of knight of units dying. I've seen one, two dryads. Two dryads dead. 49 supply against 34. Wow, what a difference. This uh, raider is going to die as well. This looks. This fight was so one sided. I feel like Happy's just gonna win this game now, for sure. Uh, how have you been? I've been doing amazing as well. Like, like everyone here is doing amazing, Notron, because you know we feed on each other's energy. Yo, know, you know, if I'm doing amazing, Chico is happy because I'm doing amazing. So you know, Chico's doing amazing, and then uh, Lapis, he's been uh, he's been uh, happy since he's been cooking all day, and he likes to cook. Chick on cage. She can shape. Well, she has been playing a lot of games on uh, NetEase. I think he stole because the Farseer sort of grabbed the orange prize base. Okay, so the Carrion Swarm did get it. What's the difference between Carrion and Shockwave? So Carrion, first of all, is 10 more mana. It's 110 mana instead of 100 mana. Uh, second of all, it hits air units. Uh, but no mechanical units. Shockwave hits mechanical units and buildings. Carrion Swarm does not hit mechanical units and buildings. I'm, I don't think if the unit cap is different. So wave is better. Why is wave better? So actually, Carrion Swarm is uh, not seen that often. Yet the uh, wave the one is always amazed by the wave. I just think uh, it's just about how the matchups end up. Of the beast, a player's forces are under attack. I think carrying can only hit a certain amount of units, too. Like, even if there's a hundred, 
in the climb he only hit 16 well this the climb it's the same for uh shockwave though shockwave, uh, shockwave has a unit cap so does carrion swarm i'm not sure if the unit cap is the same the thing is carrion swarm because it can hit the air you're more likely to actually hit that unit cap at some point like if you're playing free for all or something Didn't know Shockwave had it. I think every spell in the game has it. Every AOE spell in the game, besides something like uh, ultimate, uh, like yeah, besides ultimates. There is a carrion swarm. Shadowhunter has so much mana, by the way. Maybe uh, she could still win with the Shadowhunter. Look how much mana he has. And uh, uh, we have level one Wolfies and level two Chain Lightning, or the other way around. I'm not sure. He does have the bear, by the way. If he just had Vampiric Aura, these bears and these bears. All these bears. Okay, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, he didn't pick it. I've been complaining about it too much. What a nice Michael there was chic. Uh, it was a Kappa comment there by me because Michael was pretty bad there. Well, it's, uh... He does have level 2 Wolfies. Comes back into the fight. Tries to kill the Dryce here with the Raider. This Piggy is very long hit points. Maybe he should kill the Piggy. Actually, Piggy going poof here second. Now he gets the Piggy. Gets XP. Shadowhunter still has plenty of mana for healing waves. Only heals the the parse here. Gets rid of the wolfie. Uh, or I mean the bear. Well, it was not the wolfie, there was a bear. Shadowhunter has to heal himself again. He takes so much damage here from the Dreadlord. Dreadlord does a lot of damage plus 8 damage. Shadowhunter is uh, still fine. 33 against 57 supply. There's an ensnare on the on the huntress. Again he heals himself. And there's a sleep on the raider. Level two sleep only 75 man. I just surrounded that, that second was enough. That one second was enough to surround both the raider and the spirit walker. What a beautiful surround they were happy. Oh, but this guy goes into uh, ethereal form. He doesn't have magic damage because he didn't take the birdie, he took the bear. So he cannot kill this guy. Unless he uses carrion swarm, but of course he doesn't have the mana for that. He uh, ma uh, carrion swarm 110 mana. I know the cap fell up nice when they fixed the bug with it right after the first reform release. I think it's capped at like 5 units. I think it's more than 5 units, right? The <laughs> double surround, 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 sound, sound. The Dreadlord is almost level 5. Oh, he finds this uh, farce here. And again. He is just in time to surround it with his bear. Oh, what? This piggy, this piggy lets a farce here out. Hello, stupid little piggy. A player's forces are under attack. Well, expansion of happy is under attack from two raiders. Do they have pillage? Uh, no pillage. And I don't see a way for sheep to come back in this game. I also think Karen Swarm range is a little bit bigger. At least the animation seems wider. Might be true. I don't know. Does uh, the animation does look bigger? Yeah. Kills that raider. This raider is also going to die. Now we have a level five dreadlord. What skill does he pick? I don't know. Level three carrion swarm. Level three sheep. Anyway, one of these heroes is going to die for sure. GG. We have uh, a random hero for sheep. Did they get an orc again? And did we get the same matchup again? Orc versus night elf. Let's see if we get the same heroes. Let, I want to see the same heroes, exact same heroes. What did we get? The Dreadlord against the Shadowhunter. That would be so exciting. We get a rematch. I want to see that this rematch. I want to see it. It's Naga. No, that's a different one. Tinker against Naga. Okay, the Tinker is... Uh, well, I think both heroes are pretty good. Not the best. But considering, you know, they're playing against each other, I think the heroes are pretty even, right? Pretty even heroes. This Forestal Trapper is almost dead. The Naga going in for the harassment. Some nice Naga harassment. The Tinker, did he scout the Tinker already? Does he have a, a Wisp? Did the Wisp scout the Tinker? I think so, right? So the Naga is going to harass the Tinker. She doesn't have boots, but she does have gloves. And picks up the claws of attack. I think Tinker is a little bit better just for the power creep and potential. I 
I don't know. How can you power creep if you have your Naga harassing you? I don't know. We can all, we can theory craft all we uh, as much as we want, but let's see what happens here. Tinker walking around here with two grunts. I also stole one of the creep. Oh, I'm not paying attention, am I? Wow, 192 XP on the Naga. Tinker only 48. He, the Naga stole two creeps. No, there's still one left. The Naga stole one creep and there's still one left. Right? That's what happened, right? 48, 48, 48. 100 and... Um, 44, I think, is what you get from the creep camp. 144. Yes, that's what exactly what happened. Now the Tinker's creeping here. And he will get some nice uh, Murdochs. Of course, this Pocket Factory is perfect. Keeping this creep camp with the Pocket Factory, the Goblin Tinker, they, uh, they do splash damage on the Murdochs. That's just perfect. Naga just... This is, by the way, the best map for Naga, right? Because she's a snake, she's like a water snake. She can just slither through the water. So much water everywhere. Even the raccoon playing in the water. She cannot find the Tinker. The tinker's over there. Happy the night one creep with AOW. Oh, you sure? So you're saying he, there's no creeps left, but it's still green on the creep on the mini map. Oh, there was a cancel on the moon wall. Not a snake. She's a fish. Well, she's like a. Yeah, she's a fish, but you know, she she slithers like a snake. She's level 2, by the way. This grunt takes a lot of damage. We have Huntresses. Huntresses here for Happy. I meant the one on Happy side. Now I know what you meant, but the XP doesn't add up. Unless you stole two of them. Uh, I mean, unless there's no creeps left here. But no, there's a creep left there, so... Osfra Serpus going to kill this uh, over here. That's for lightning. Comes an archer. And meanwhile, a player's forces are Tinker going to kill more Murlocs. Technically, technically, she's a bunch of polygons. You mean like the Pokemon? Your fish. Well. Let's see what she's going for. She's gonna uh, buy boots. She definitely wants boots. Boots would be so nice here on the Naga. Come on, buy boots, Happy. I know you want to buy boots. She does not buy boots. How's Reptile being a fish? Are under Guys, she's a Naga, I think. This grunt is being blocked by the... By the Huntress. This grunt does go down. Here comes the Tinker. Tinker also has boots. Wait, also? I guess he couldn't buy boots because the Tinker already bought boots. Is that what happened? I should pay more attention, man. I should focus. This is the finals, after all. Let's focus on this finals. The Pocket Factory here in... Uh, she plays Pocket Factory here in uh, Happy's base. Just cancel one of the APAPs. Double Angel of Lure is going up. Arc base second here for Happy. Arkmay se uh, second, he's trying to kill the Tinker. Tinker have claws of attacks. And... Uh, uses a clarity potion. To get away. Is he going back in? Maybe he can cancel the Ancient of Lore. Uh, probably the Pocket Factory. Yeah, he places the Pocket Factory over there. Put the, uh, the Rally Point over there, of course. And he's going to cancel it. No, he's too late. Way too late to cancel it, but can he kill it maybe? This one scouting. Sees the APAP in the back of the base. What do we see here for Sheik? Wyvern, Mass Wyvern? Okay, Mass Wyvern. Seems to be a popular choice here when we watch these games. This random versus random. We uh, we see these Wyvern quite often. He's gone for the APAP. Does a lot of damage to the APAP. As was it. There are two Wyvern. Uh, we have water elementals though, which are perfect against the wyvern. Now oh, the APAP is going to be cancelled. There's a cancel. Is it a tree of eternity yet? No, doesn't even need it though. 
Orb is not really necessary. Both his heroes can attack air. This uh, Wisp takes so much damage. Does he kill the Wisp? No, two hit points. And it drinks some moon juice. Nom nom nom. Meanwhile, the pocket factory here is being focused as well. Do we have uh, rides? Yeah. The Wyvern though. What do you do against the Wyvern without the instant wind? Just mass riots. Just AP APs. AP AP are going up. A player's forces are under attack. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he almost kills this grunt here. 23 hit points. The grunt tries to kill the grunt. But the hunters does get the grunt kill. We have expansion, by the way. Surprise! I uh, I missed the expansion. Uh, this wyvern flying over the trees. Wyvern against riot. There's a pocket factory. The riot doesn't win this fight by herself. In fact, she's uh, about to die. There she goes down. Pocket factory. Oh wait, she was about to use her chain lightning, but the the wyverns fly over the trees. It's actually fork lightning, but it doesn't matter. There goes a wisp. So many wisps here that are uh, falling by one by one. There's not a fork lightning. She kills a wyvern. The other uh, archer, I mean, the drive finds a tinker. And this AP, AP, AP is also going up. We have three wyvern. A player's and the arc match. Oh, another wyvern just flying over. Just flies over the... The wyvern takes a lot of damage. Can he kill the wyvern? The wyvern is still alive. We have an uh, ancient of war over here. It doesn't get a decision to go wyvern. Well, it is um, against, against Ancient Lords, it's not actually that bad, but I mean, after seeing the Archmage, yeah, I would have liked the uh, Radius more as well. Send some, uh, has some healing salves here on the Wyvern. He just, I mean, I feel like players that get Orc, they just don't know how to play Orc with a random hero. I mean, it's pretty hard to play Orc without a Blade Master, so they just go Wyvern. Or Mass Raiders, it's usually one of those. Tinker. He does have mana for another pocket factory. He's going to the expansion. Tinker plays as a pocket factory. There's some wife in here in the back. Uh, the Naga is, she's level 3. Archmage's gonna creep, okay. If the Archmage gets level 3. It's gonna be really nice. He wants a tome of XP, that's for sure. And uh, meanwhile, the Tinker. Do we care too much about the Tinker? Tinker is level 4. This Hunters is. Uh... Oh, the Dryads! The Dryads, they find. The Wyvern, of course. The Archmage is level 2 now. Bronze Aura is gonna be nice. What do we have here? Towers! He's going to tier 3. He's going to Fortress. The Naga is uh, trying to kill the Pocket Factory. Does get the kill. There's Fork Lightning. Oh, he gets a creep as well. Lightning shield and he buys the boots finally on the Naga. Sells uh, the lightning shield. What are these wyvern doing? They're just flying around. He's going for poison, poison wyvern, maybe bat riders even. No, no bat riders just yet. He's just going for base race, maybe. Give me level tanker, uh, level six tinker, please. Well, we still need two more levels. Players force hound is under attack. siege. Six wyvern. And a tinker stops out. Oh. Spilling more wyvern. He's healing. Archmage first fireball. And uh this is a speed scroll. We have a lot of towers though, I don't think Happy can do much here. Three towers and burrows. Oh, the Naga, she's hunting down Tinker. She gets rid of the Pocket Factory. Um, pocket Factory place here at the back. He's going for the barracks. Barracks. I mean, he might as well just been creeping. I mean, what can he do here? The Wyvern can just uh, pick off units. 
Ooh, actually, Wyvern gets... No, just fine. Kills, kills one Huntress. Do they have poison yet? Is it uh, Fortress? I don't think they have poison yet, right? Oh, there goes an Archer. He goes for a Dry, but wrong Dry. He goes for this Dry now. This uh, Wyvern takes a lot of damage, but he can kill all the unarmored units easy peasy and the Water Elemental. Oh! Surprise! Naga snipe. For lining does so much damage against the Wyvern. I, I definitely think she could have micro that much better and easily won this fight there. At least force a TP. Uh, this Wyvern is definitely going to die, that's for sure. There. Kill it. That's a dead Wyvern. And what else is Happy doing? He's at tier 3. He has an uh, Angel Wind. Okay, he's getting Hippos. Of course he has expansion. So he's not really that afraid of Bat Riders. More Wyvern. Oh, there's another Fork Lightning. There's one Wyvern. Uh, there's one Wyvern super long hit points. He's getting the upgrade for Burrows and his Towers. Tinker is... It's level 5 now, though. Level 5 Tinker. On his way to level 6. Just needs one more level. Is he healing the Wyvern? No. Why not give a healing self to the Wyvern? He's going for the expansion. He's building towers. Oh, he gets one of his Wyvern ensnared. There's a healing self. For this supply against 57. But we have a level 5 Tinker. That's not the hero we have here for Happy. Just has a level 4 Naga and a level 3 Archmage now. Level 2 uh, Water Elementals, of course, much stronger than level 1 Water Elementals. And uh, the Naga got a wand of mana stealing. Here comes the Tinker. I'm not sure what skill we picked. Is this level 3 engineering upgrade? Let's see, 6 and 6 is 12. I think so, right? This level 3 engineering upgrade plus 6 damage. Oh the, oh, the Wyvern being torn apart by the 5 Hippos. The uh, Naga going for a flank attack with the staff. And the Hippos just trying to kill the, uh, the Wyvern. Do we have any bad riders coming in? There's a Cold Arrow. This Wyvern is going down super duper fast. And come on, go for the next one. The Hippos, of course, move way faster than the Wyvern. And uh, there goes another one. Yeah, there it goes. We have towers here, so maybe you can save the other ones. That's nice. Okay. Don't got speed scroll. He uh, he doesn't have speed scroll. No. We have bat riders though, and he's getting also liquid fire. He's gonna buy a speed scroll now, maybe, or maybe an orb, or maybe both, or maybe a pocket factory. What is he planning to buy here? Pocket. I mean, not pocket factory. You don't buy those. I mean, a uh, tiny great hall is what I meant. That's exactly what he buys. He stops over here. He's gonna place expansion over here. Oh, these bat riders. That one. They they so low on hit points. 166 hit points. Yeah, better be careful with those. After one fork lightning, you know the second one will probably uh, it will probably go down. This peasant takes a lot of damage. We have one gold behind the uh, pioneer. This pioneer is, is is repairing this tree. I mean, that's not a tree. That's a, a town. That's a, a watchtower. Well, let's see. Happy at 77 supplies. More than double the supply of Sheik. 77 against 35. But Sheik has a level 5 Tinker. And he has towers. And we all know every tower is worth like 10 supplies. So this is like 40 supplies. So Sheik is at 78 supply. Happy at 77. And there's a pocket factory. He used his uh, roar though. Not only his ground units. He missed like his air units. Bad rider. Do they have? Does he have armor upgrades? No, he has attack upgrades. Should probably get armor upgrades. So his uh, hippo survived the bad riders, but he, he's getting a second ar uh, attack upgrade. I think if you get one armor upgrade, the hippo survives, right? Or do you need two armor upgrades? I forgot. Six hundred minus uh, eleven times six. Yeah, one armor upgrade is not good enough. I think you need two armor upgrades. There's one uh, at the end just by the means. Come on, hippos. There's no more bed rider. One hippo cannot do it by himself. We can kill a griffin by himself, though. 
And here we have what's happening here. Tinker just walking past, just saying hi. He has his peace call and he uses it. It also works on these guys, actually. Didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I just never seen it before. And uh, all the wyvern are dead. 27 spline over Sheik. Against 74. And uh, Blizzard, we have a retraining to Blizzard. Over to Blizzard, we'll slowly kill the uh, towers. If he switches to Raiders, Casters, he has a chance. I don't think so. <laughs> no, not anymore. Is Happy pay taxes? He's paying taxes. There is some more uh, bears are going down. There are five bears. Lich Sauce. Players' forces are under attack. This uh, bad rider takes a lot of damage. It goes down. Meanwhile, the Archmage here is killing this uh, this town hall. Tinker plays down a pocket factory. We have four bad riders here. What are they going to do? They're going for the gold mine and then gold mine. They're going for the gold mine with uh, 29 spike and 70. This bad rider takes a lot of damage. He uses a uh, roar. And this dryad takes some damage. There's some uh, lizard. There goes the dryad. This bear takes some damage. He's, uh, he's killing everything. Like, what is uh, she? Seeks combat plan. Well, he's gonna tinker. Plays a pocket factor here with the tinker. He's gonna kill this tree of life, maybe. Is that his combat plan? The tinker is very on hit points. This one bad rider is doing a good job over there. This is now hitting his own bears. This is how confident Happy is. Just uh, kidding. Okay, no, never mind. GG. I've been thinking about it, but I'm not sure. Oh, we have a crit lord. Uh, if it, that would be worth my time. If it uh, would be used. If it would be. If the people would like it that much. We have a Crypt Lord first here. We have a Shadow Hunter. How many Shadow Hunters did we see today already? This is like the 65th Shadow Hunter of the day. Only the second Crypt Lord, right? Or the third? Third one, maybe? Anyway, he's creeping. He kills uh, the uh, little turtle. Mantle of Intelligence. Here comes a Shadow Hunter for Sheik. He kills the turtle. Gonna take some damage. A player's forces are under attack. And the player's forces are under attack. Oh, this this peon is under attack, and the peon dies. So uh, the shadow hunter is going to retreat. The, the crypt lord here. He got a nice 88 XP. That's a nice start. That's a nice start. I want to see crypt lord's ultimate, more like shadow hunter's ultimate. Don't get XP when hex, that's true. But did he kill anything while he was hexed? Or did he kill a turtle when he was hexed? 88 is of course it. Yeah. Normally you have 108. I forgot. I see what is he doing? Is he going for towers? Is this militia or oh, the peasants? I want to see an army of giraffe riding native African hunters. There's a nice uh, hex on this bunny. Hey Splix, welcome back. Only now I realize the Shadow Hunter is the Agile Hero. Agility Heroes. That's a nice tower for Sheik. I love towers, of course. Here comes the Crypt Lord. Can he do something about this towers? We have a chicken. A chicken. But chicken is not very good against the towers. There's a nice impale hitting two of these peasants and the Shadow Hunter. And we have a crab. We have a crab and a chicken. And uh, these peons take some damage. These peons, why are they fighting against Footman? That's not a fight they can win. The Crypt Lord is, uh, is he? I was trying to kill this tower, but the peasants are repairing. We have another uh, animal. No, not enough mana for more uh, animals. With three grunts, nice impale, and he kills the tower. Doubt it was cancelled. Oh. And now the grunts go for this uh, tower over here. The Crypt Lord took a lot of damage though. He has a healing self. If he cannot get out, he can just heal himself. This tower, can he get this tower? We have a raccoon. Why is a raccoon sitting here? Oh, it's a grunt. A grunt raccoon. This peasant here is being killed by grunts. We have four grunts. Uh, I mean, three grunts and a uh, raccoon grunt. 
And they are just killing what? Oh, but the tower is up. One tower is up. The other tower is almost up. Meanwhile, the Crypt Lord is healing himself. No, not healing himself. He tried to heal himself, but the heal got cancelled. And now he is on his journey to his shop. Uh, this tower might fall, though. And that means there only one tower is up. It cancels it. Oh, the footman. We have so many footmen. Seven footmen. These guns are never going to get back in this base. If the uh, Well, this one is allowed to get back in the base. But these other two... He doesn't want them back in the base. He's a stronghold. Is he going for... What's he going for? He supplies there first of all. He needs a second war mill somewhere. And then... Uh, yeah, build demolishers. The shadow hunter just fighting against two grunts by himself. His peasants are Michael back. They're building towers. They're repairing towers or whatever they're doing. They're uh, hitting the towers with their axe. And some they're doing something good to them. They're not attacking the towers. Five footmen there got impaled. That's so many footmen. Did the Shadow Hunter get a kill? He got one kill, but the other gun got away. Okay, Crypt Lord gets away as well. I wonder if the Crypt Lord gets hacked, does he still have the armor? I doubt it, right? Spiked carapace. Oh, he's surrounded. But his footmen do so much damage to themselves. Four damage? Or oh, two damage? Oh, that's actually the spiked carapace. Don't look good. He still has the extra armor. There it is, GG. GG, guys. Shadow Hunter, are you kidding? How many Shadow Hunters do we see today? This time it's for Happy though, not for uh, the other player. And we do have a Warden, but for Sheik. And some people thought the Warden was going to be for Happy, right? Is it Warden for Sheik? We're close. Shadow, uh, Shadow Hunter versus uh, Warden. And the Warden here is creeping. And the Peasant, he's helping. He's helping creeping. Why is Happy helping uh, Sheik creep? He tries to get the last attack, but doesn't get the last attack. I mean, Shadow Hunter, of course. Oh, Anas Bonna got it right. Got it right. He just uh, typoed when he said AM. Hey, uh, and, um. Uh, peasant coming in for a flank attack. Can he kill one? Maybe 184. 184. Going for the. Oh, Battle of Knives. Kills everything. We have a lion horn of stormwind here. Shadow Hunter hexes uh, a little wisp. Wisp is down. Elf Warden on Tree and Stand. Oh, yeah, he's Elf and he got Warden and Tree and Stand. <laughs> You're right. I first human. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even realize he's human. I mean, that he's Night Elf. Double onions. But the Shadow Hunter, of course, is uh, is a pretty good counter against the Warden, isn't he? He's probably better than any human hero normally can get. The Healing Wave is just a counter to the Fan of Knives. And he has a uh, lot of intelligence as well. Let's see, he's getting some. Uh, he's getting an expansion here. Plus 8 IQ. 20 I 28 IQ here on the Shadow Hunter. Well, the Warden, she just has 17 IQ. He's building a tower and then he's gonna build an expansion. Also, it's Happy that's uh, the human player. So, uh, and Sheik that's the Knight of Player. He's uh, almost to level 3 though. Is he gonna blink in and uh, kill everything? Scout Tower going up. There's gonna be an arcane tower, I assume. I assume. Maybe this one as well. That's an arcane tower. This is a no tower just yet. These uh, archers creeping, so the border gets level 3. He has a staff. He's going for the expansion. But there's footmen scouting for it. Shadow Hunter, by the way, is totally level 3. So, level 2 healing wave can heal as much damage as the warden does. I'm not sure if the Warden ever uh, even scouted this uh, Shadow Hunter, but anyway, he does know about it now, if he didn't already. There's a Fan of Knives, but there's a Healing Wave. Look at that. Counter Fan of Knives with Healing Wave. Maybe that's why uh, Warden is not the great hero against... Ah! Orc? She gets hexed? He's not a Fan of Knives. But now he doesn't have mana for Healing Wave anymore, because of the hex. He uses the dust. And uh, there's another fan of dives. How much fan of dives does she have? No, her mana. Oh, wait, what? what is that blink? I don't know. TP out. Probably blink, but then. Or start an animation for blink, but then got hit by the arcade tower. Didn't have enough mana anymore, and then the blink uh, 
got cancelled. I've seen this before. Seventeen IQ, she's she's not much smarter than me. Well she's uh she's not that smart. Thirty-three, but you know just because you have lower than 17 IQ doesn't mean, you know, it's a bad thing. She has 22 IQ, by the way, right now. <laughs> so the solution for the warden human just needs a shadow hunter for his elf. That's the solution, yeah. I have two archers here as well. Uh, Tanks and snipes of footmen. Archers are marked back. There's a fat of knives. And these footmen. He split up, he splits up his footman so they don't uh, get hit by the Phantom Knives. He definitely needs an Arcane Vault, why does he not have an Arcane Vault yet? He needs some clarities, he needed the clarities on the Shadow Hunter. And uh, there the Warden loses some of her mana. He's building a guard tower, what is this by the way? No expansion here, just an H of the Ward. This, uh, this Hunter takes so much damage, this Hunter does go down. Is he even attacking by the way? No, he's tier one. He's uh, double angels of war hunters. But against a shadow hunter. Arch took a lot of damage. What about the happy? He's go to keep just right now, just barely, just just now. We have a shredder as well, of course, helping defend. Shredder does so much damage. Doesn't get hit by the phantom knives, and uh, can be repaired. Shadow hunter, is he buying something? What is a shadow hunter buying? Okay, he's buying clarities, and he's on his way back. Uh, one footman went down there. Oh, the warden losing so much of her mana. Shredder should be. Yeah, the Shadow Hunter is being focused. He goes down. And the, the footman goes down as well. This uh, hunter's over here. Pretty long hit points. Where's that the Shadow Hunter? Well, this footman is so low on hit points. So low. Where's that the healing wave? He needs that healing wave. Save his footman. He's trying to uh, kill the warden with the Shadow Hunter. There's an archer. Use healing wave. Kills the uh, hunters. Not sure if he got XP for that. He's 682. Building this uh, vault now. This hunter takes some damage from the arcane tower. It does do piercing damage, but still it doesn't do a lot of damage. So it doesn't kill hunters very fast. These guys AFK. Uh, this hunter's very low hit points. 121. What do we have here? He's building a farm next to the tree of life. Or the other way around. Footman is uh, gonna lose the fight. Warden is almost back. Does she have mana for Phantom Knives? She does. Unless... No, no, she does. There it is. She's level 4 now. So the hunter. Of mana. Use the clarity. The Warden. Warden is here. And uh, this card tower is, is... Is staying up. Okay, nice Phantom Knives. All these units so long hit points. Warden is out of mana. Uh, yeah, this guard tower seems to not go down. Especially now that the archer is not firing arrow arrows anymore. And Shadow Hunter here, yes, he, uh, he does a lot of damage. 25 to 31 plus 2. There's another holy healing wave. I don't think he can push through, but that's why he has his expansion. That's why uh, Sheik is building an expansion. No AP APs are built either. Uh, usually, if you see this, you see AP APs. But not this game. No AP APs. Maybe one AP AP could have won in the game there. Skinning footman. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Well, there's a farm under siege by a tree of life. There's entangling gold mine. No more mana here for the warden. Shadow hunter also out of mana completely. He's almost a tier 2, I assume. These hunters are. Uh, not sure, are they winning? There's a. Oh, he is a tier 2. He uses a. Uh, buys the mana potion. Uses the mana to heal his footman. His uh, shadow hunter hexes the. The warden, but doesn't get her. Doesn't have speed scroll because he's a uh, human. So maybe next time. Um, the warden is uh, playing this pretty risky. She gets hacks. There's no militia flank attack. Maybe she should have coordinated this with the militia flank attack, and this warden would have died for sure. Uh, but, you know, the warden is still alive. I mean, she's still over here. I'm not sure why she's still over here. Uh, she's just gonna die to this next hex. 
I'm not sure why this warden was just standing there. She was just waiting. Just saying, come on, shit on her, why did you kill me? 